dodgeball. And Amy Bonilek is calling the shots. How do you get someone out? Um, by hitting them um, below the waist. Wheelchair and all, Amy's not one to sit on the sidelines. So how do you play dodgeball? Well, we're pretty careful usually, and yeah. they um, have tried to hit a big wheel here. Amy just doesn't seem to see herself as disabled. She calls herself a wheelchair kid. OK, well, you know, <laughs> that's... I'm not sure how PC that is. And she knows what she needs, and she's used to telling people what it is that she needs. And so she just sort of expects it. And kids do work off expectations a lot. So, so if, if she's just sort of saying, can you please, can you bring me my chair? You, you know, well, they're used to following instructions. So they, so they do it. OK, love, she'll put your, your coat on. As for Dad yeah, Ian, right he's way. wrapped around a finger. Mostly she's great fun. She's very honest and she's some, um, and she says it like it is. Oh, that, I think that was ultramarine. Mm. With the real black. Yeah. Because of her disability, she is more thoughtful and more aware of other people and her surroundings and, and of issues. Amy's about to turn 11. As each year goes by, her personality blossoms, yet her body becomes more fragile. Affected by a rare neurological disorder, Charcot Marie Tooth Syndrome. Amy's syndrome is degenerative and affects her limbs. Already, she has very limited use of her hands, but she's a great one for using ingenuity. She's got her own way of doing everything. She uses leg splints for support, but knows that one day she'll be in her wheelchair full time. The time will also come when she won't be able to paint with her hands at all. Okay, so my disability is called CMT, although it's a very long name also. Um, and it um, and it's in the nerves, and the nerves sort of really migrate away. Um, well, migrate, well, they sort of go away on the outside. Um, and it affects me with my hands, and I can't grip, and they're a bit bent, and I can't walk so well, and I can't move my feet, and things like that. When we caught up with Amy two years ago, she was able to walk into her classroom. Already she needs her wheelchair much of the time, but this kid puts a positive spin on life. So, in the last two years, have you lost much function? You know, mm. can you do less or more? Or? Well, technically I can do more because I found out a way to do more things, even though it's got slightly worse. Mm -hmm. Amy's been to primary school for five happy years. It's a safe environment, but now it's time to make that transition towards independence. Amy's off to intermediate. Because her family has moved into a new school zone, Amy is going to a different intermediate from most of her friends. A scary thought for most kids, but Amy seems to have herself well prepared. I think she's matured a lot in the last year, so I mean she's a little nervous about going on, but I think she's ready for some new challenges too. Yeah. What will what you miss from here, do you think? My friends. Friends. Um, I have to be a lot more sensible. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, OK. What do the other kids say when they see you in a wheelchair? What do they... Um, the teacher's are pretty good with that, I think they should be, because they've had two other wheelchair kids, yeah. When a child moves from primary to intermediate, I liken it to the big fish in a little pond becoming the little fish in a big pond. Today, that little fish, Amy, has come to Murray's Bay Intermediate with her dad to check out the school, to see what the school and her need to do to make life a little easier for her. So, Amy, this is the art room. So what sort of art do you like doing? Um, I like doing painting. Yeah. And I like just doing like things like with feathers and things like that. Like, so making that things. Much, yeah. It's a school with 840 students. Deputy Principal Paul Everett gives Amy a personal tour. The art room is to Amy's satisfaction. Um, it wasn't exactly exciting, but it was quite interesting. Oh, interesting. So why was it interesting? Because it's like there's all these different types of art. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have a favourite type of art? Uh, not really, but I quite like painting. So you quite like painting. So any challenges in doing the painting? Well, I don't have really fine motor skills, mm -hmm. so... I can't get real and real detail okay. very well. Easy. Yeah, yeah. Each classroom holds a new challenge. 
One of the things that you're going to have to do when you come in here, make you feel like a real scientist, mm -hmm. everybody has to wear a white coat. Mm -hmm. Fancy that? Mm -hmm. eh? And the other thing is, for lots of things, you have to wear goggles. Yeah. But I can see a bit of a problem here. Mm -hmm. You can't get up to the desk with that. Well, it's too low. Well, I'll get a new chair which can stand me up and I can get close to things and I'll be the right height and things like so that. So it actually stands you up? Yeah. Well, that sounds pretty impressive. I'll yeah. look forward to seeing that. The school is fairly accessible. Yeah. As Amy's condition deteriorates, she needs more support, yeah. but the family is proactive in ensuring Amy maintains her independence yeah. as long as possible. Well, it's pretty hard to look forward mm -hmm. because we never know whether it's plateaued in terms of its change. And in terms of the last two years, uh, yes, she probably is using a wheelchair more as she finds that she can fall more, fall more easily. Amy? Yeah? Some homework, eh? Uh -oh. In 11 years, what sort of changes have you noticed and how do you think they may carry on in the future? Oh, the technologies, extraordinary and presumably will only get more extraordinary and more, um, in a way, allow Amy or you know other people with, with physical impairments that make face-to-face -face difficulty or travelling or, you know, I mean, those things might all become really, really virtual. So, I mean, she might well have your job. Well, I just want to have a job. Well, have a good job. Are we a roll? Oh, roll. Roll. <laughs> <laughs>